Hello. Hi, everyone. I think I'm live. I hope I am. Um, just want to say hello on this horrible, damp, grey day. I don't know about you, but this lockdown's getting to me now. I'm getting a bit fed up with it. Uh, but all I can say is thank God I can sew. So I've got something to keep me busy and knit as well. So what I want to do today is to go through some fabrics with you. Uh, we've had a couple of deliveries recently. Um, bits and bobs I've got there's too much to go through everything that we've got so I think I might split this into two and do um, some new fabrics that have come in so that's some cotton poplins uh, some batiks some viscous uh, a couple of furnishing fabrics uh, but I'll do a separate video to go through some of the heavier weight furnishing fabrics uh, okay so let's get started um <clears throat> what I will say is the lighting isn't fantastic uh, here. They are daylight bulbs, but um, depending on your monitor and all sorts of things, depends how you see the colour. So I'll try and describe them as best I can. Uh, they are on my website as well. So everything you see here, you should be able to buy on the website. Um, or if you sort of order online um, and then come to the door and I can show it to you. And if it's not quite the colour you expected, then... Um, you can sort something out and try and find something that you do. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about doing was like a virtual shopping. So if you don't see um, something that you think you know we have or we might have, then I can do uh, with my phone a virtual book of virtual shopping uh, time with you and just go through um, things in a bit more detail with you. So that's another option. So just message me, get in touch via the website or via email or give me a call. OK, everything should be on the, the website, www.haberdashdo.co.uk. Right, should we start with fabrics? Let's have a bit of cheer on this horrible grey day. I put my tea down. So I'm going to start with uh, cotton batiks. Uh, these are all 115 centimetres wide. They are all 100% cotton. Uh, this is a classic batik indigo colours with a kind of a fern leaf design. It's got indigo, purples, uh, sort of turquoise. They are £10 a metre. <clears throat> I'm just going to pop that back in there. Right. That's another sort of a paisley design on that one. That's classic indigo colours again with lilacs, yellows, greens, turquoise. For some reason, I've got that one on a roll and all the others came on a bolt, but they're all the same width, 115 centimetres, 45 inches. Uh, that is a sort of ready pink background. I call that an ammonite design, that kind of circle design. It's uh, yellows, greens, turquoise, purples, really lovely summery colours there. This is the same pattern in a different colourway. So it's a dark indigo background with greens, turquoise and a hint of lilac in there as well. So these batiks, they're all <coughs> hand dyed. So you do tend to get a little bit of dye residue uh, left on the fabric sometimes. So we do recommend that you give them a wash before you actually start sewing with them. Uh, that's uh, the last one is more turquoisey with darker green and lilacs and yellows and a sort of floral design. Okay, so that's our batiks. I have got a couple more batiks. I haven't got huge lengths of them though. Um, somebody's trying to look in my, get in my door now. Um, I have got the batiks in fat quarters. We've got lots of different fat quarters. These aren't up on the website yet, but I will get them up onto the website. Um, you get five fat quarters in a pack, all uh, different um, colours, but the same background pattern, if you know what I mean. They are fourteen ninety five for five uh, batiks. I have got other fat quarters as well. I'll show that you those in a bit. Right, uh, these are one hundred percent cottons. These are one hundred and fifty centimeters wide, uh, sixty inches. Uh, this is a really pretty pale blue background with a vintage sewing machine and vintage uh, dressmaker stomach, is what I think is what I mean to say. Um, so really uh, pretty design there, £10 a metre. 
be great for bags, for sewing machine cover, something I keep meaning to make, but I've never got around to. <clears throat> Just turn that down there. Uh, this is 100% cotton as well. It's a teal, teal blue background with a pink and lilac flower and butterfly design. It's really nice and soft, ideal for crafts and for dressmaking, that one. Okay, our cotton poplins. Let's put that down there. These are these are all eight pounds sixty a meter. They are 115 centimeters wide and which is 45 inches. Uh, cotton poplin is a really soft, fine weave cotton. Ours come from Rose and Hubble. So they hang really nicely. They're great for dressmaking or for craft making. Good for kids' clothes. Right, so if I just go through the different colours and designs with you. Oh, I just need to click something on my computer because that's something's popped up, which I don't need to see. <laughs> right, so we've got Valentine's hearts. That's greys and pinks on a white background. We've got a few ditzy florals. This is like an okra yellow uh, background with a sort of cream flower. This is a ditzy floral in reds and pinks and greys. I'll just show you a little dress that we made out of that. So this is a really simple design. It's a pillowcase dress. It's basically two rectangles and you just cut a little bit of shaping, a little bit of a curve uh, for the sleeve. It's bias binding around the armhole, a ribbon, or you can make a, a, a tape and you just make a casing and thread that through. And that's it. You can bury it up by doing, you could do a contrast uh, hem on the bottom there. I don't know if anybody saw the sewing bee over Christmas and New Year. Uh, Sally Phillips, uh, who won the second one, she did a pillowcase dress. I don't think they called it a pillowcase dress, but that's basically what it was. Uh, she had a contrast tie belt, look, look really good. So you can do adult or kid versions of that. So that's that one. This is a lovely deep plummy brown background, sort of plummy purpley background. And it has leaves, green, pink and purple leaves on it. It's really pretty. Uh, the colours kind of tie in with the previous one as well. Uh, we've got a mock patchwork uh, design, a sort of antique cream colour with blues and pinks on it. And again, we've had, we've made something up in that. This little girl's tiered dress. So you can see how uh, flowy and lovely it is for making clothes. Um, this little pattern I'll show you in a minute, you can you could do contrast coloured tiers, coordinating tiers. Uh, Ali did another one and another fabric. So she did a, the, the top in the polka dot and the bottom in a ditzy floral. Right. Some of the other new poplins in. Actually, this one's been in since just before Christmas. It is uh, Sugar Skulls. I'm just showing you because I have a couple of masks made out of this and everybody says how pretty it is whenever I've got them on, something different. This one is a blue ditzy floral that Ali made the little, little girl's top out of. That coordinated with one of our polka dots. We've got lots of polka dots, also in cotton poplins, in lots of different colours, reds, yellows, greens, blues, pinks, lilacs. I'm just looking in the distance so I can see the colours. Um, and they all coordinate with all the different fabrics. We've got a good range of colours there. So they are all £8.60 a metre. These are on rolls rather than bolts, and um, sometimes that's just how they come. So this is a like an off-white background with a tiny little lilac 
flower with little green leaves. Very pretty. <clears throat> This one is a pale yellow background with a darker yellow flower and little green leaves. Really pretty for the summer. I think I had my summer head on when I did my ordering. Just be nice to have a bit of sun, isn't it? Something to look forward to. Right. Uh, this oh, this one, this came back into stock, actually. We had this last year. It was really popular. Uh, dark, Really dark blue background. And then it's got like an okra green and cream fern leaf design. And then we've got a couple of designs for boys. It's quite difficult finding fabrics for men and boys. We really struggled uh, for mask making bits and bobs. So we've got a dinosaur pattern one. And I have a camouflage I think it's called a forest camouflage because it's more greens and greys and browns okay if there's anything you see here that I'm not showing you by all means just shout and I'll try and show you um, there's a couple of other designs here that we've got in we may have had before we've got them in a slightly different colorway to what we had before so there's the Koi fish. Uh, this is on a jade background. The one we had before was not on a more turquoisey background, but that looks amazing made up. Looks really lovely. Um, I made a little wrap skirt for my daughter. Uh, my friend made a little skirt as well, which she lived in in the summer. Hello, Sharon. <laughs> right, camper vans. This is a fun one. You need some curtains or some cushions for your camper van. It's a red background and then lots of different flower power camper vans. Uh, cupcakes. It's like a creamy yellow background, lots of bright coloured cupcakes. We've got rainbow unicorns. What else could anybody wish for? It's a pastel rainbow stripe with unicorn print. This is a pretty feathery design. It's like a dusky pink feather on an antique cream background. Oh, this is a new one, and this is a new stripe we got in. It's uh, lots of different colours in there. Greens, pinks, yellows, orange, brown. So it's got lots of colours that coordinate with the, the fabrics that we've got. Okay, and one final one. Back by popular demand. This was really popular last year. Really gorgeous tropical print. A lovely, vibrant, dark navy background, and then the turquoise and greens uh, leaves with the orange and pink flowers. Okay, I'm just going to shove that up there so they don't fall over. There we go. Right, I'm going to work my way around. So, not in any particular order, I'm afraid. Um, this is a wool and polyester mix. Uh, this is a little skirt I made uh, for my daughter. She's a size eight, so I can get one leg in that. So these, uh, so that's um, got a bright coloured lining as well. We've got lots of different dress linings here. Uh, so we've got that in a pink, uh, the pink check. They're 12 pounds a metre. They're 140 centimetres wide. Uh, we have customers who've used them for upholstery as well as dressmaking. Uh, so there's the pink check and there's the dark grey check. We've got a little bit of the okra left. I haven't put that out because we haven't got that much of that left. But I'll just show you some patterns because I forgot to show you some patterns for the pumpkins. So lots of different things you can make. Um, we do stock oop, all the McCall's patterns. So we've got the full range, we've got the catalogue here. Obviously, we can't invite you in to go and have a look through it, but if you have a look online and let's know the pattern number, we should have it in stock. Okay. Um, right. So these are just some ideas of things that you can make out of the, the fabrics that I'm showing you. Okay, but there's obviously a lot more 
on offer. So little kids clothing, a little dress stroke top and shorts underneath. This is a nice ladies uh, dress. The boys shirt and shorts. Uh, hats. You can make these out of fat quarters actually. Um, did I say fat quarters? All of the poplins that I've just shown you, we do those as fat quarters as well. So uh, fat quarters are uh, about 18 by 22 inches square. Uh, not square because that's not going to be square. It's 18 by 22 rectangle. Um, so quarter, it's basically a quarter of a meter, half of a half a meter. It's an American term. Uh, so those hats and things and bags you can make out of fat quarters. Uh, that was a little dress that Ali made out of the mock patchwork. So that one there is done in two different design, two two different fabrics. Um, other things you can make: little backpack, it's quite cute, or something for the sewing machine fabric. The sewing machine, sewing bits and bobs bag, a nice big beach bag, or a shirt dress. I've got some linens actually, which that would look really nice in too. Okay. Uh, and the wool, the wool mix, there's a couple of patterns that go nicely for that. So the little skirt I made is that one. It's just a straight little pencil skirt. You can have it long or short, uh, quite high waisted. Or that one that's been in our window it's lots of different types uh, this one is a pleated or you can just have it straight or have it as a sort of semi-circle skirt That's a couple of ideas anyway <clears throat> right next on my list <laughs> this is a new one in it is more of a soft furnishing fabric but it's great for bags and uh, crafts it's called jacob's coat it's 100 percent cotton it is a woven stripe Okay, so it's quite a nice uh, weight to it. It's a upholstery weight, or soft furnishing weight. Okay, so we've got it in that colourway, which is sort of okra, rust and turquoise. And we have it in the indigo colourway. They are both £12 a metre and they are 140 centimetres wide. So that's more pinks and blues, uh, that one. Next up is linens. We've had linens for a little while and they're really popular. Uh, this one, I've just cut a piece off the bolt. It's actually a polyester linen look, uh, but it's really flowy and soft and it would make up nicely in something like, something like that. Ooh. Or you could use it uh, for furnishings because it's a bit more hard wearing. Uh, it's a bargain, it's 3.95 a metre. It is 140 centimetres wide. Right, and then the, well, I've got another linen mix. This is a polyester and linen mix, 140 centimetres wide. Again, nice shirt dress, but it's got lovely uh, flow to it and it feels really nice. I think that would sew up really nicely. Um, but you could use that for soft furnishings as well. Right, that's those linens. Right, 100% linen. It's an enzyme wash linen, so it's nice and soft. Um, we get a lot of customers um, use this for dressmaking. Ooh, uh, and so just how lovely it is to sew. It's really nice. Uh, I've made shorts and trousers out of this. And... Uh, it does wash really well as well. We've also got people who've made um, uh, soft furnishings, cushions and things out of them, and aprons. Uh, so we've got it in a few colourways. We've got black, uh, we've got okra, we have got pistachio green. These are all 13.50 a metre, by the way. They're an odd width, they're 130 cent. 137 centimetres wide, 
So an odd width, but that's the navy. It's a lovely, rich navy. And then we've got the stone colour, which has been popular for aprons and soft finishings, that particular colour. Okay, jerseys. Got a few jerseys in, a couple of new ones. Um, I'm seeing a new supplier next week. I say seeing, I'm talking to him on Zoom. Uh, and then I'm going to some samples, so we may get some more in. But this is a lovely cotton jersey. It's really soft. Uh, the colours are sort of, it's an, probably looks a bit orange on your screen, but it is quite red and indigo and teal and beige and cream. It's kind of fireworky abstract, that one. That is £12 a metre. This is a hummingbird and peacock feather design. It's a lovely thick cotton. It's a really dark, dark navy background. A lot of people think it is black. And then it's got this bright blue hibiscus blue colour and then the hummingbird and the peacock feather in there somewhere. That is £15 a metre. This one is a leopard print. It's a khaki green background and then it's got a small black uh, leopard print print. That's 13 50 a metre. Uh, that's what Helen made. So she just made a simple wrap dress. This is using a learn to sew pattern uh, from a cause. So it's aimed at beginner sewers. It's just a simple wrap. It's got a couple of darts in the back. It's got, yep, yeah, it's got a couple of darts in the bust line. This dolly's a bit small for her, for the actual size. And then it just wraps over and a, a tie waist. Put back in there. Right, one more jersey. This is an organic jersey. It's really, really soft. It's almost sweatshirt fabric, but it's not as thick, but it's got a lovely um, soft backing to it. It's a, like a turquoisey teal background with pink and gray feathers. And that is 15 pounds a meter. That's an organic one. Okay. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, that's another jersey. This is a viscous jersey, so it's a bit lighter weight. It's really flowy and lovely. Great in the summer. I said the summer word again. We could play summer bingo, couldn't we? Um, that is nine pounds a metre. And then we've got a couple of crinkle jerseys in black. Uh, black and sort of olive green, which are seven pounds a metre. I've tied them up so you can't see those very well. But they hang really nicely for trousers. Nice big palazzo pants, they look great in. Right, let's do some silky prints. Actually, no, I do some patterns for Jersey. So, just a few suggestions. Nice big flowy summer dress. I said summer again. Uh, a more fitted skater dress. <clears throat> and that was the one that's on the dolly in the leopard print. And a cocoon dress which are quite popular at the moment. Right, boucle. This boucle is uh, it's a polyester. It's got boiled wool effect though, and it's got a little bit of stretch in it. It's really, really soft, it feels really, really silky. Uh, this is a dark blue with a lighter blue fleck in it. If you can see that, but uh, it moves quite nicely. And that is £13 a metre. <clears throat> These boucles, they are 
similar to the one I've just shown you. Uh, this is the pink. This is the, the cardi coat that's been on the dummy in the window. Uh, that's a dusky pink colour. Uh, we've got it in the camel. <sighs> like nice camely brown colour. Uh, just checking the price. And a cream colour. So I think I said 13 pounds a metre, but they're not, they're 12. Okay. Right. So a couple of patterns for the boot clays. So that one is the pink cardi coat that I just showed you. Comes in a different couple of different things. A uh, little hooded sweatshirt. I mean, you could do this in the jerseys as well. Um, like a long line hoodie dress. <clears throat> Came out a bit early. Right. Um, silky prints. So these are gorgeous. They are, they have got a tiny little bit of stretch in them, the polyester with 5% spandex in. Um, they're very silky and flowy. They are nine pounds a meter. This one is a fuchsia pink <coughs> with a red poppy and a green leaf design. Um, sold this for people making pajamas, kimonos, dressing gowns, even some plateau pants. Uh, nice started to make a top for my daughter. Uh, she didn't let this work because uh, if I told her it was for her she'd say she wouldn't like it but uh, when I got her to try it on she actually said she really liked it so winner winner uh, so that's out of the the taupe it's not a beginner fabric I'll tell you that because it's got a little bit of stretch and it is very very silky so it's a bit of a challenge but it's not insurmountable we probably need a stretch needle for it as well which will work best so a few patterns for those Oh, I have got, whoops, I've got a couple more to show you in those as well. I'll do that in a sec. Let me just pop those back there. How many books are falling down? Oh, it's all going, it's all going peak Tom. Here we go. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Right, so that is the um, the top that I'm making out of the spot. So you can see I haven't put the sleeves on yet. Uh, so other patterns for that kind of silky fabric is uh, dressy gown and pyjamas. Uh, that's a really lovely looking dress or little blouse at the top there. That would look great out of the uh, silky fabric. That's just a very simple swing dress or swing top. Um, I'll show you in a minute. We've got some blue, this colour, really rich, sort of oil, purpley blue. Which would look great. Oops, this is the royally blue silky print. I managed to tie it up. It's very flowy and it's got a little bit of sheen to it. Lovely as a dress, as a top. Probably a bit thin for trousers, but you could probably get away with it. Um, or pajamas. And again, it's got that little bit of stretch in it. And we also have it in a very silvery grey with a coral flower design on it. Okay. Right. Fleeces. And we've got some plain fleece. We've got navy red and grey polar fleece. Uh, this is a new one that's just come in it is 11 pounds a meter it's called cuddle fleece and when you touch it you'll know why it's called cuddle fleece because you just want to cuddle up in it it is so soft it's absolutely beautiful um blankets jumpers whatever you want really out of this 
uh, that is like a silvery grey background with little teal and beige coloured doggies on it. It's just, it just makes you want to cuddle up on a horrible day like today. So that one is £11 a metre. We've also got this one, which is a cream background with colourful stars on it. That's seven fifty a metre. Right, these are new ones in. This is called Velboa. It's like a cross between velvet fur and fleece. Now, this design is, I can get up and show you, Dalmatian spot. Okay, so it's, it's not as furry as fur, but it's a bit thicker than velvet. Great for bags, upholstery, anything like that. So that's nine pound, no, yeah, nine pounds a meter. And these are 150 centimeters wide. So we've got damage and spot, and we have got little giraffe, which is so cute. Right. So that's nine pounds a meter. So fleeces. So all sorts of things. I think I showed you a couple of jumpers, but also a little baby romper outfit as well. Did any patterns fall on the floor that I missed? No. <clears throat> okay. Viscous. So viscous is a natural fiber. It is um it's wood pulp and it's um the poor man's silk. It's an, it used to it used to be called rayon. Um, so it's wood pulp that is treated chemically. So I'm not quite sure how um, natural it is because of all the chemicals they put on it. But you can see it, it's very soft and flowing. It's used in a lot of clothing. You see a lot of things in Primark are made out of viscous. So these are all six pounds a meter. They're about 145 centimeters wide. So we've got the flags. So these are great for trousers, dressing, go dressing gowns, skirts, all sorts of things. Um, that is parrots and palm trees. That's kimono waiting to happen, I think. This is black. Black background with a cream, cream kind of palm print, sort of spidery palm. That look really nice. Just a pair of trousers. This is a another mock pack, patchwork Ooh, design. You can just see how fluid they are and how well they hang and uh, float. Anything floating there, great for. This is a new one in as well. It's not strictly speaking viscous. It's a similar kind of feel, just slightly heavier weight. It's a black background with a red sort of Chinese symbol on it. You can see that. And that is six pounds a meter as well. Right, I'll show you some patterns for viscousy designs. So anything kind of flowy uh, is great for viscous. So you've got a um, circular skirt there. These are nice straight plateau pants or three quarter length trousers. Nice flary culottes. Uh, I love this dress. Great beach cover up or dress it up for the evening. You can, I think that would look really lovely out of that patchworky one. Uh, something else for the beach. Oh, I so want to be in the sun. Uh, Nice little sort of dungaree romper. So, 
that little cover up, simple cover up. You could do these out of jersey as well, actually. Uh, nice little tiered dress or top. And then the last one I've got is a like a rara skirt. If you were, if you grew up in the eighties like I did, I used to live in rara skirts. I used to make them all the time. Right. I've got some furnishing fabrics there, so I won't show you those. I'm going to hold off and show you those another time. Uh, I did mention fat quarters. I do have some fat quarter packs as well, buy in, which are all pre cut. Um, and so they're, they're coordinating fabrics. Um, I will put these on the website. They're not on there yet, so you can see the different designs. Um, so that's so we've got so animal prints, we've got bees. Uh, dogs, we've got just uh, multicolored spots. We have also got, I've got one panel left of the Guess How Much I Love You franchise. That's 750, that one. But we also got coordinating fat quarters. So we've got pinks and greens, or we've got uh, blues blues and sort of turquoisey okay so those fat quarters are 15 pounds for five the other fat quarters are 13 pounds other things we have ideas things to make as well sorry out of fat quarters oh helen did a video on youtube you may have found it is some little washable and reusable face cloths. We sell the bamboo toweling that's on the back and then the front is just made out of scraps of cotton poplin. The bamboo toweling is really lovely and soft, goes really nice on your skin. Uh, so that's an idea, things to make. We've also got lots of different books. So whether you want to try Messing about in your sewing machine, do some free motion embroidery. There's some ideas in there, some really nice ideas. Uh, we've got the free motion embroidery feet as well that you'll need for your machine. And we also have the common embroidery thread. But you can just use normal thread or the Gutterman one is a, like a shiny, so it shows up well. Um, Luna Lappin, um, they're gorgeous toys and with a complete fitted wardrobe. Uh, Make it out of all your scraps, bits and bobs. And then we've got a number of dressmaking and sewing books. So if you fancy doing something in a jersey, you've not uh, made something before, that's quite a good book to get you started. Uh, and then we've got a number of books for beginner dressmakers. And this isn't everything that we've got, but it's just a selection. There's a kids one there. It's got quite a few nice ideas of things to kids for kids to make. And then a couple more beginner's guide to dressmaking. Uh, other things that might interest you before I go <laughs> is uh, jelly rolls. So jelly rolls are strips of fabric that you sew together in long strips. And then you cut them into blocks so you end up with sort of blocks of three stripes and then you move those around and patchwork them together so you get coordinating colors all in the strips this is just a couple prices vary we've got a load of boutique ones which are 23.95 and then some other plain cotton ones well not plain cotton they're patterned cotton 16.95 there's lots of different colors um if you're dressmaking you might be interested in one of these little uh, irons that makes it look really big <laughs> it just fits it's about the size of my hand they're great for getting into corners they're great for crafting and for dressmaking um getting into corners doing little seams and it's very ergonomic it's got it's just got a button on the uh, button it's, you just hold it on the top bit like a joystick i suppose and you iron like that can't do without it now they are 34.95 On that. Obviously, we've got all the different sewing machine needles, stretch needles, ballpoint, uh, twin needles, whatever you need. They should all be on the website. 
Uh, one other thing to show you is if you're doing um, applique or machine embroidery, uh, Bonderweb. It's like a double-sided violin, but not as stiff as violin. So you iron it onto the wrong side of your applique, uh, cut out your applique shape, and then you peel off the paper backing, and then you can iron that onto your fabric. So you don't actually have to stitch it on, but it makes it much easier. You can just do a decorative stitch around the edge. That's Bonder Web. That's 550 a metre. We sell it by the half metre. And the other thing to say before I go is uh, sewing magazines. If you subscribe to them online, you don't have to do anything, but you get loads of templates um, for patterns free. Um, obviously, you have to download them on a PDF and print them off and then stick them together. But they're really good for ideas. They have loads of different ideas. So um, sewing mag is from one we have been getting. I've just been sent this one called Love Sewing. And actually we prefer this one. It's got some really handy um, hints in it um, and guidance on how to make things. So, and some really nice designs, some more dressmaker-y designs rather than sort of home crafty stuff. Depends what you're into really. I'd say that one for home crafty, that one more for dressmaking. So there we, go. there we have it. I'm gonna wrap up now. So I've probably talked enough. If there's anything you wanted to know that I haven't mentioned, just drop me a line or give me a call, drop me an email and uh, happy sewing. All right. Bye. Oh, can't get my mouse to work. Right.